What is going on, Lunatics? Every day I bring you a little information about Luna Classic, what I find, what's available, and we can talk about it. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you hit the like button on the way in, and let's get after it. All right, guys, so the first thing is we're waiting for information about TFL and the SEC settlement. We have nothing so far. Uh, still hitting the refresh, waiting for something to pop up. We'll let you know when it happens. As far as price goes, it was one of those times where yesterday was a massive sell-off in the broader market, so we really didn't get a whole lot of activity. But that wasn't the end of it because I told you guys something big would probably be happening and it would be happening today. Well, guess what? Let's go check some price action. As you can see right now, we've got a little spike starting to happen. Now, is this spike because of Terraform Labs? It's not. This is in fact because the broader market uh, is up $82 billion. US CPI came in at 3.3 versus a, an estimation of 3.4, which is a great number compared to what you expect. When you beat expectation, that usually puts risk on assets in a good light and you're starting to see money move into risk on assets. Good thing. And we'll see how far this goes as of this moment. Uh, a nice little pump. Broader market, some of these tokens, uh, some of these coins have started to, to really sort of rip. Renders up 12% on the day. Myro, Dog With Hat, they're both up like 12% on the day. Solana up over 7%. Just a, a, a lot going on out there right now because of this CPI. So what does that mean for the broader context of Luna Classic? Well, let's dive in. So broadly speaking on the daily fundamentals, uh, same thing that we've already had. We've got this node of control right now that we're in, uh, bouncing up back through. Look, we haven't closed a wick underneath this um, support level. So with this reversal and this move, then the next step is getting to that three zeros 13 number that I gave you a couple days ago. I told you guys that's the, the next step in this and we've got positive sentiment coming in. We're going to get the announcement of the settlement. Now, if the settlement is relatively low, if it's ridiculously low, it's going to move Luna more than it lo moves Luna classic, but it's going to move Luna classic and by proxy it's going to move USTC as well. So uh, I would expect to see no matter what, if it's low, I, I expect it just an explosion. And look, when I say explosion, you know, we've seen it a few times here. Uh, remember I told you guys that this 22, 23 sort of level is going to be that, that next big impul impulse move. That could be today. And if it's not, then this move still going up into 13. Now look, I know some of you guys want 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 X, but I don't care because that's not the market. The, the market right now is not that. The market right now is, you know, nice little pump, nice little dump, nice little pump, nice little dump. Uh, until further notice, that's where we are. That's what the market is doing. This is Bitcoin's market. It's about to become Ethereum's market and probably Solana will be the third ETF if there is one. So be watching for a, a big lift, a big move, and you'll know it when you see it because to me, it would be my expectation that we're going to have some godlike candles today uh, making us feel pretty good. Will it sustain? I don't think that it will. It's never sustained before. There's no reason to expect that it will. Again, <clears throat> at your very best, there could be some new buyers that step in uh, and new uh, sort of um, uh, investors checking it out saying, ooh, this is an interesting project. And you can see right around here at 1500, that would be my estimation of the, the best possible scenario for a settlement coming up into here and then testing this sort of range right here. And it is a range, not just 15, but uh, 16. But it, it just seems like that's probably the best case scenario. Otherwise, I would be looking for consolidation right back down in this 12 to 15, 1200 range. Again, you know, I don't, I don't see, again, we don't sustain these pumps until we have a, a little clarity. We're going to talk about that pretty soon. Also, Coin Hall, not a lot going on with the memes, but they did start to pop off a few of these. As you can see right here, they just, you know, kind of ripping. And then uh, Tutankhamen, remember we talked about Tutankhamen yesterday. It's up 63% on the day. It's starting to find its range, starting to find its way. Um, so uh, if you got in when I told you to, if you, you, you bought in yesterday, then shout out to you. You're up a nice little bit. Make sure you take your profits responsibly. Don't wreck the chart. Don't do anything. You know, don't don't detract from the work that these guys are putting in. Market cap went from thirty thousand to forty six thousand yesterday, so fifteen thousand dollars more uh, in market cap. Again, big move. So it's tiny micro cap, by the way, but still a move. So uh, again, take your profit responsibly. Uh, also, 
uh, the volume is up a little bit. So there's no anticipation. They're just looking for the move. They're looking for the actual move. So this should be uh, an interesting thing as it happens today. And, you know, USTC, same thing, just kind of meandering sideways. Now, on to proposals. Proposal 12115, Genuine Labs Tax to Gas Implementation. Uh, to give you guys a clear, some clarity here, uh, even Jesus is Lord came in with a yes on this one. Ninja Node, uh, Stake Bin, Lunk Swap. Why is this important, by the way? This is important because uh, it's removing the, the, the burn process directly and the burn tax, which has been a thorn in the side of Binance and other different companies, the centralized exchanges, because they don't want to do that because they're giving away and they're you know basically just selling their supply. So they're doing it based on fees, right? Well, this would uh, turn the, this again, this, this, and, but this by the way is not for the implementation of it. This is just for the development of the overall budget is five weeks, 25,000 in the form of Lunk. Uh, so, you know, remember that that's what that's going to be phase three. Uh, it's going to be research phase one. Uh, and then 2.5 weeks to develop, and then 1.5 weeks to test and deploy. So this is a five-week-long project to get us to tax to gas. Tax to gas. So uh, basically, contract developers need to calculate the tax manually, which is prohibitive. Clients DAPs or have to tax, calculate tax themselves, which is prohibitive. Tax to gas fixes all that. Uh, migrated audit DAPs become cumbersome due to these classic specific adjustments. So this is going to fix that, uh, and, and the tax will include, uh, th th this is going to simplify the process for anybody building on the network. The network will do it itself. So uh, this changes things dramatically. Um, however, again, five weeks. So, you know, I, I can expect, I would expect that there's going to be some kind of um, some excitement here because people are going to start building here. So, you know, pay attention to this. Now, uh, Lunk Burns, 296 million. And now let's get into the project today because they have an announcement and I have a video to play you. All right, guys, here we go. All right, guys, here it is. All right, guys, check this out. Garuda Universe, that's the project. I'm not going to do the audio on it. I always get copyright strike for that. But uh, check out how easy to register token, create, plus customize staking contract, provide rewards pool, stake, and withdraw it at any time. You got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away 100,000 USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today, and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD. Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. All only on Nolik. Uh, Garuda DeFi. So uh, customized contract. You can come in here. You can create your contract. Uh, you've you've just you know, we've changed. This is changing the game. Basically, you're going to be able to create a, a smart contract. You're going to be able to, to to provide your own liquidity. Uh, you are getting your own Uniswap. This I mean, this is big. This this is big. Garuda. Uh, shout out to them for doing this. Now we've talked about Garuda before. Um, as you can see right here, you just confirm everything. Um, you can withdraw your rewards at any time. This is a staking protocol. There's a lot going on in the background here. This is just the impetus. These are the things that make things better. Uh, also, if you haven't already, go check out BigBangX.io. The way that you support these guys, the best thing that you can do to support these guys is to go buy some NFTs uh, and start helping with uh, uh, building and developing in this market. And by, by the way, when you see this, I, I would look at something like video games, things like that, as big potential movers 
if you will. And as a big potential mover, then I would say that, you know, something like Air Force Lung, which is a game being developed. You know, these, these are, there are games that are being developed in here and they're going to use all of these uh, different uh, NFTs for, for different things. And by the way, you can just kind of go check over here, um, uh, explore the collection uh, right there. And just look at whatever ones you want. Phantom Landscape, Tom versus Jerry, Drawn Monster Bird, Sun Token Project. Uh, you know, look look for these things and see if any of them resonate with you. And if they do, buy some, you know. Uh, use your Luna Classic in order to do the buy. By the way, uh, that burns on transactions as well. Uh, you happen to, to see that on uh, the, the Lunk metrics. So that's it, guys. We're still waiting for Terraform Labs. Uh, Luna Classic's already made a move. I think it's going to make a big move today. Uh, I, I can't say that for sure. I'm not a financial advisor. Let me stress for the record here. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not qualified to give you financial advice. I'm telling you that this is my opinion of what I think is getting ready to happen today, but I'm not advising you financially. It is imperative that you do your own research and try to figure this out. Now, remember, none of this is possible without the support of Terraport, who have sponsored me uh, for this, uh, for all of these reveals. So Garuda, uh, you know, the fact that we're bringing it out, if you happen to make something off of it, if Tutin Common, if you happen to make some profit off of it or anything like that, make sure you do your trading at terraport.finance because that would help them and that helps me to continue to provide you with this type of content. So, uh, also, if you're into some risk-based gaming, Terra Casino over here, certainly go check them out. Weeks is over here burning tokens too, so uh, you can sign up at Weeks in the description down below, start trading, um, and, and that certainly helps. It helps both me and it helps the burn process. So, um, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and remember, it's not financial advice, but I'm always right.